smoking literally on the contents page and I'm just like fuck this I'm going out <laughs> um, so I call up a mate who I haven't seen in a while you know went to uni with him and uh, he's like yeah 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 All right, I'll call you back man I'll call you back so he calls me back about five minutes later says right go to a place this little bar it's called South Omar right that's the place and I'm like okay stand about this I don't really know where the fuck I am. Um, look it up, get a train, it's an hour and 20 minutes, I think. Right, it must be good for me. Get to this fucking bar, right? And um, look around, no one's there. And I go to the toilet for a quick piss, as you do. And on the wall, right, it says like, fuck English people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Right? So I get to the bar, order a beer. I thought, come in Ireland, I'll get a Guinness, you know, as you do. The guy fucking looks at me like I'm just, it's like being in a fucking western where, you know, you walk through the doors and everyone just goes fucking quiet and it's just like, you're not from around here, are you? No, uh, no from London. It's like, what are you doing? Um, well, I'm here to get wasted, you know, maybe meet some nice Irish girls and uh, see what they have to offer. <laughs> These group of guys walk behind me and they're like, why are you here? I said, well, I just told your barkeep, you know, so it's not that hard. Like, you need to get the fuck out. It's like, you're English, we don't like you fucking people. Like, after what you did for our country, it's like, mate, it wasn't me, you know, I didn't fucking do that, you know, that was my answer. Um, and literally, I'm thinking, like, right, this is a bad move, I should probably leave. You know, in those cartoons where they have those kind of like smoke bombs, they throw them down on the ground? <laughs> I have a pint of Guinness in my hand. <laughs> Not even thinking about this properly. Right? Throw it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it smashes and there is Guinness on his fucking trousers. <laughs> I don't know if you ever tried getting Guinness out of anything, but it's not fucking easy. Especially if you're in white trainers. Um, so I do that, stand in there, being like, where the fuck is this smoke thing that's making happen? You know? Not there. I fucking leg it down the road, right? I'm just hearing, come back here, you English cunt, and all this stuff. Like, running, find a graveyard, I fucking hide in there behind a fucking headstone. I'm like, fuck, fuck, I'm gonna call my mate up, like, dude, that fucking bar you told me to be like, hey, you fucking went, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> fuck, alright, cool. Man. When I 
a cigarette because I'm so fucking nervous and scared. Like, what can we do? It'll be an hour and 20 minutes on train here. Look, you need to fucking order me a cab while I'm having a smoke. I'm trying to make sure the smoke doesn't go above the headstone. You know, so I'm trying to wave it back down. It's just like, fucking hell. So I get in another cab. It cost me 75 quid to get out to Belfast. Yeah, not the nicest fucking thing. But I'm, you're from California, aren't you? Right? I've been to LA. What the fuck is up with that fucking place? Seriously. <laughs> Every single fucking barmaid thinks they're an actress or they're going to be the next fucking big thing. Do they not realise that maybe 0.1% of them is going to make it? We was in a, a bar with my mate Mike over there. How are you doing? Um, it was when Amy Winehouse died. Right, that day. Right? I'm not... Oh, oh, hello. Not a fan or... I'm happy about it. You're right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not related. Alright, I'll keep going. Um, yeah, so... We were there and uh, she was like, Oh yeah, so you're English, you know? You, uh... You know, your white house, so like, fuck me, it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm like, well, she deserved what she got, you know? That's what you do when you do drugs. I'm like... What? Uh, yeah, well, you know, you do those fucking drugs, yeah, that's what you get. And um, she calls her manager over, get fucking barred for saying that, it's fucking ridiculous. Um, and then walk into another bar, right? And the amount of fucking people in LA, they're like, do you know the Queen? I'm like, no, I don't, but I'm kind of having a few beers, I'm starting to get a bit sarcastic. I'm like, yeah, I fucking know the Queen, but if anyone goes to LA, best way to get laid, say you know the Queen, honestly. Yeah, actually, <laughs> but um, yeah, I was watching, um, watching, Soccer Saturday a couple of weeks back, and I went and watched it. And like, what the fuck up is up with people who say the word literally but don't actually understand what it means? <laughs> like, there's um, Matt Letizia and Paul Merson, right? They're going, that guy's literally just kicked his foot off. Like, no, he hasn't. <laughs> He's literally just smacked the ball, hit the crossbar, and it literally fallen off. Like, well, I'm going to watch you some match of the day, because this sounds fucking amazing. <laughs> that was a waste of night, match. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> I was uh, visiting a mate a couple of weeks back in Manchester, in a hotel, right? And uh, we got absolutely fucking shit-faced, like, beyond recognition. 5.30 in the morning, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting back to the hotel, like, I met, met these two girls trying to bring them back into the room with me. I'm at, <laughs> yeah, that's always great, man. Um, I'm at the front of the hotel room, right? Um, well, no, sort of hotel. And I'm chatting to the concierge, and in my head, it's coming up like, I've got a room here, you know, can I bring these two girls up there with me? But in actual fact, it was. Uh, I'm so I'm so <laughs> <laughs> this woman is like, huh? Like, rightly so, you know, because I'm just fucked. Um, so I just go up to the girls and they can't come in. Um, I need to get home the next morning at 8, and it's 5.30 at this point, I think. So I set my alarm, you know, do it so I can get up at 7, which is not, not that long, really. And I'm in bed literally lying down like this and all I hear is this fucking thing it's like could you please answer the phone please please answer the phone it's like someone's fucking knocking on my door right I'm, I'm so so fucked at this point I don't even know what my fucking name is and it's <laughs> this person's knocking on the door I'm like I'm, I'm naked I'm trying to walk around the fucking hotel room like where the fuck's my clothes um, hold on give me two minutes two minutes where's, where's the phone where's the phone Eventually find the fucking phone, right? Oh wait, no I don't, because there isn't a fucking phone in my room. It's the person I've asked the fucking person at the hotel to set me a fucking alarm, right? <laughs> Why the fuck would you tell me to answer the fucking phone when there isn't a fucking phone there, yeah? Oh, I don't fucking know. Um, but, no, it's good, because I set myself an alarm as well. But, um, also, one thing I've learned. Siri doesn't actually pass that message on to your alarm clock. <laughs> Literally, just you tell Siri and she says, Sorry, I don't have any uh, error for this. It's, uh, it's in the United States or, like, fuck off pretty much. So, um, yeah, that was interesting. But, um, 
literally just legged it to my train, um, got home right. But, um, thank you guys, you've been fucking great. Um, that's me, that's Niall. Um, have a great fucking night. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Forget about another round of applause.